Hello everyone, this is Eddie the Magic Monk doing another tutorial for permutations and combinations. This is quite a difficult topic to explain, so I've actually already had a few goes, so try to be a bit more patient with me when I'm going through this. And obviously if there are any questions, put a comment uh, and hopefully I will or someone else will answer your question. So the question is, how many permutations of the letters in the word giggle are possible? All right, so basically we want to rewrite this in some other way. Uh, for example, I, G, 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 L, E, oops, L, E, or L, E, G, I, G, G, or some different permutations. How many ways are there of rewriting this? Now the trick to this is that there are three repetitive letters, G, 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 right? And there's some special math thing we've got to do to get the right number of ways. But before we do that, let's do a quick recap on rearranging words where there are no repetitive letters. So for example, basket, every word in every letter in here is different. How many different ways are there of rearranging it? Well, I'll just do a quick reminder by drawing a tree. So the first letter, you can either choose B, A, S, K, E, or T. Once you pick one, then let's say I pick B, then you have five options left for your second letter. All right, that's your first letter, that's your second letter, and let's say I pick this, then how many options do you have left? A, S, E, T, you have four options left for your third letter. So in total, how many options do you have? You have six times five times four times three times two times one, because you can keep going. And then, so in total you have um, 720 permutations which is uh, the same as 6 factorial that's the factorial symbol 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 now that's for the word basket um, because it doesn't have any repetitive letters and this 720 will work for any six letter words without repetition right but now we have repetition giggle has three letters that are the same so why does that matter well if you draw a tree if you draw a tree g1 g2 g3 i L E right because we use different numbers here G1 representing the first G G2 representing the second G G3 representing the third G right because we have three G's so if you kept going like this and let's say I pick G1 so I have G2 G3 I L E left and then let's say you pick G2, then you have G3, I, L, E remaining. So you keep going down the tree, it's still going to be 6 times 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1 ways, which is 720 ways. But you're going to end up with some options that are repeated. So, for example, G1, G2, G3, I, L, E is exactly the same as, let's say, G1, G3, G2, I, L, E, which is exactly the same as um, G, G2, uh, do I have that? G2, G1, G3, I, L, E, and so on. So, because these are all the same, what we want to do now is we want to find out how many of these are there 
for each option right for each permutation so like what we had before 3 G's I L E G G G I L E how many repetitive permutations are there so basically all all you got to do is you look at how many different ways are there of rearranging g1 g2 and g3 all right how many different ways are there of rearranging g1 g2 and g3 and that's simply so rearranging g1 g2 and g3 there are three factorial number of ways right you can draw a mini tree diagram you can start with G1, G2, G3, and then let's say you pick G2, so you have G1, G3. So it's three factorial, and then the last one is G1. Three times two times one, which is six ways. So for every way that we end up with in our result here, for every permutation, there are six permutations that are the same, that represent the same thing. So therefore, to find out how many different unique permutations there are, so number of unique permutations for giggle will just be 720 divided by 6 720 divided by 6 which is uh, 120 oops 120 ways now we need some sort of a general formula for that otherwise every time we encounter this problem we gotta draw 53 diagrams so the formula is this when you are rearranging M objects, and in our case with Giggle, there are one, two, three, four, six objects, M is six, with K groups of indistinguishable objects, so we just have one group, which is the G, everything else is distinguishable, uh, containing N objects in each group so we got three n1 is three right we got um three g's so the number of permutations will just be six factorial because six is m divided by three factorial and that's it using this formula and we don't really have any other groups of indistinguishable objects Alright, because I, L, E, they're all single letters. So, that's the general formula. Now, applying this formula to this question here. How many different permutations are there of the word, whatever this is, Rastaf Rastafarin, Rian. Sorry if that's actually a proper word. I'm just really bad at pronouncing. Okay, so... Um, Let's see how many objects there are. Firstly, we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. There's 11 objects. So we have 11 factorial. 11 factorial divided by how many indistinguishable objects do we have? We got A, 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 A. So that's 4 factorial. And do we have any other common letters? Um, we got an R here. And we got an R here. So that's 2 factorial. So 11 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 2 factorial. 11 factorial divided by 4 factorial times 2 factorial. So if you type that into your calculator, then that should give you 831600. 831,600. Make sure when you type this in the calculator, you put 
the bottom part of the fraction in brackets. So you put in 11 factorial divided by bracket um, 4 factorial times 2 factorial bracket equals. So that's how you put it into the calculator. Okay, thanks for watching guys. See you next time.